this is Rahul so today I'm going to explain how you can upload your book onto Amazon now Amazon gives you a platform like the Kindle or uh, digital publishing the KDP so uh, to access it and to upload your book what you need to do is you need to go to kdp.amazon.com and uh, on the right side if if you're never signed in you will see a message to sign in with your Amazon account so what we'll do right now is uh, we'll just start to sign in alright um, so I'm here um, the first thing that it tells me is to uh, read and accept the Kindle direct publishing terms and services so I've already gone through this I, I strongly recommend that you go through it May, maybe uh, copy it and uh, then go through it and once you have done this um, you will need to agree if you click on cancel uh, you will simply log out so I'll click on agree and um, then we will have an option to upload my book so uh, what you can see here is uh, uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to click on add a new title so I'll click on add a new title alright uh, so uh, the first question it asks is whether we need to um, enroll this book in KDP select so um, uh, I think that's a good option that is something that we should be doing now uh, the first thing is we need to enter in the book details uh, so my, my book is uh, I am God world's oldest story now it is also part of a series so there's a sequel as well so I, I have to type in the series title in here oops So this is a book that is uh, set in prehistoric times. Okay, edition number. I'll leave that optional. Uh, publisher. Um, we can uh, we can put a publisher or we can decide uh, not to put one. So I'm going to put in uh, the publisher's name is here. If if you are self-publishing this book. Um, and you don't have a publisher you can either put in your name or put it as blank okay description so it has got four or uh, four thousand characters here um so let me let me try to find out so i've got a description page in here and I'll just copy it and I'll just paste it back in here okay um looks like I've exceeded the 4000 character limit uh, give me a minute here okay so uh, I was able to update the description field so you can see that um, Amazon gives us 4000 characters and I've used all 4000 characters zero characters are left so what uh, before we move on just want to touch upon description now description is very important and you need to uh, pack, pack your book description like anything because that would be a critical piece of how Amazon finds your book they need to have all the information that you and only you would be able to give you so moving on book contributors now I think this is where we need to type in our name so uh, for author I'll just type in my name now 
all right I'll, and if you've got any editor or any illustrator you can add their names as well so I'll click save okay language um, I think that's English so moving on ISBN um, this comes in picture only if uh, uh, especially for a print book this this option comes in picture now ve verify your publishing right is this a public domain work no it isn't so I'll choose this option this is not a public domain work now target your book to customers now this is another critical piece um, you need to be in such a category wherein there is not much competition but it should still be a little bit relevant so um, if I go over to here I've already selected which categories I want um, my book to be in so the categories are um, uh, history ancient early civilization now I need to find out if uh, it shows up when when we uh, search for that um, but for some reason um, Amazon doesn't work the same way so let's see if, if it's here okay looks to be here so I'll go to ancient and uh, okay and that particular category called early civilization doesn't show up here so I'll just put it under general so that's one selected history ancient early civilization is not there so I have selected general now I need to select another category so um, the other category would be something like agno agnosticism so let's go there so it should be somewhere in religion and we have one year alright I'll save the categories and let's move on okay upload um okay uh, keywords now this is interesting um up to seven so they have given us seven options let me quickly check what I can do here so what we need to do here is uh, we need to uh, check in advance what kind of keywords uh, we are going to use because these are the keywords that customers will type in whenever they search on Amazon so um, I've selected all my keywords and uh, these are the ones that I'll be using now browse for image um, so what I will do is uh, I'll just browse and um, try to find it here somewhere and uh, I've got the cover I'll just click on open and I'll click on upload image alright looks like it's done so just a simple cover here and um, uh, you also have the option to uh, use the cover creator that Amazon has now upload your book file now select a digital rights management DRM option I would suggest that you do not enable digital rights management okay book content file so browse for book uh, again going here so what I've done here is uh, I've uh, 
created this book in Microsoft Word and what I've done is so uh, when saving this book I've saved it as HTML web page filtered so this is something that's uh, one of the options that they have mentioned in uh, building your book for Kindle there's a book uh, that Amazon has and in that uh, they recommend that uh, whenever you uh, if you're saving as an HTML save it as web page filtered so that's what I've done so um, I'll just click on upload book here and let's wait hmm looks like it's taking some time so they are giving me an option to save and continue now oh, let's see so I'll click on save and continue let's see what happens now okay conversion is complete now verify your publishing territories unless you have a very specific reason um, I would suggest that you go ahead with worldwide rights all territories now choose your royalty so for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, any any book that is less than two point ninety nine dollars comes under 35 percent royalty uh, a book that is between 2.99 dollars to 9.99 dollars comes against uh, against 70 percent royalty for now I'll put an introductory cost of uh, 99 cents so that will mean that I'll have to take up 35 percent royalty this is explained in the uh, terms of conditions um, that uh, Kindle gives you so I'm going to give it uh, so I'll just put it as 0 0.99 and um, I'll, I'll just uh, put everywhere the same amount makes it easier so this way customers um, will get the same look and feel everywhere in all the territories Okay. Um, right. Okay. I'll put this as zero point nine nine as well. I'm not sure about the Japanese price or the Brazilian price, so I'll I'll just uh, set it to whatever the U.S. price is. Okay. Um okay it's saying that my my file size is 0.19 MB so the now Kindle lending I strongly suggest that you select Kindle book lending uh, we'll just go through every play uh, everywhere just to see if uh, we are good enough so I've chosen royalty I've put it as 0.99 dollars 99 cents everywhere and euros were were needed so I'll just uh, check the box and I think we should be good here okay so it's saying that account information is incomplete um, so I think that's the next step that we need to do so I click on go to my account can sign in
okay um so i'll need to sign in all this okay so i updated my account details and uh, i again went to click on save and publish so now it's giving me uh, the message that it can take up to 12 hours for it to get published all right so i think we are done here so we'll just go to my books bookshelf and uh, okay in review let me click on what does so all right um looks like we will have to wait for some 12 hours for it to work i, I think uh, we are pretty much done here then thank you for uh, watching and have a great day